Howdy everyone, back at Renegade Blasters with something that I know a lot of you will enjoy because a lot of you might have some of the simple blasters Gen 9s, ACRs, Gen 8s, SLRs and you're wondering what I could do to that blaster just to give it that bit of extra punch well, we have stage 1 all the way to 3 upgrade kits um, that you can get stage 1 is, you know, the basic spring and o-ring well, we have these stage 3 kits that pretty much upgrade everything in the box so that you can really clap on those fields. If you need something that'll give you the edge, give you a bit of extra, but you do enjoy your platform, whether it is, you know, a Gen 9, ACR, SLR, that type of things, these kits are pretty much universal. The only difference is probably just the gearbox that you won't be able to use for all of them. But everything else essentially is usable in all those blasters. Here we have the Gen 9, Gen 10 ACR upgrade kit. So these little upgrade kits are great if you really want to push the limit of your blaster to the extent that it's not going crazy but just hitting hard enough to get maybe that bit of extra fire rate, much more power and really try to dominate the field with you or your squad. So let's go with what you'll get in the box. Starting off, we have a lot of genuine SHS and Chi High parts so that you know you're getting the right parts and the right items for that blaster. So we'll start off with what we have on top. So we have a silver wire kit for a gen 9 gen uh gen 9 gen 10 uh or v2 platforms so these are basic silver wires this will be able to handle the current for 11 volt battery and those upgraded motors which this one does come with and there's a lot more to go through so i won't spend too much time on things like this go next to the spring retainer so this spring retainer is a full metal one so it takes those bigger springs you can see a couple of springs on the side there but yeah this spring retainer can take multiple sizes there it even comes with the different brackets in case you have different type of buffer tubes that you want to fit uh here we have the grease kit so we all know to make sure you grease your kits up i can tell you i've pulled apart a few blasters that are not my own and they were dry as a bone you don't want that because your gears will split, your gears will crack, your teeth will whip, wear. A lot of bad things will happen, so make sure you use a grease kit. So you've got some for bearings, you've got some for high speed and high torque, and you've got some silicon oil for those air seals. Make sure those air seals are nice and clean and lubricated, because if you don't, you can drop that necessary 5, 10, or up to 50 feet per second from a badly oiled or greased uh, gearbox. Next, we have a... Oh, that's magnetized pretty well. <laughs> We have a Chi High high speed motor. So these things are rated for a 50,000 RPM. These things are crazy, especially an 11 volt battery. Comes with a metal uh, carbon pinion head already. So these things are great if you really want to pick up that speed. And that matches well with the rest of the kit as well. Next, we have a high flow piston head here. So these high flow piston heads really help with keeping your blaster quiet, but at the same time, trying to push that extra feet per second. Uh, you, you might think, oh no, it comes with a black O-ring, but if we just shift through this box, here we go. It does come with a couple of green O-rings in case you need to serve your blaster here and there. It doesn't just come with one, it comes with multiple, and it comes with those black ones in case for some reason you wanna keep your feet per second low. Again, not all fields will like that high feet per second. Some fields are limited to 300, some limit to 350 make sure you check with your local field before you go and play there with a two hopped up blaster in this little pack though we also have a anti-reverse latch metal and a metal v2 trigger it's a nice straight trigger it's a little bit hard so i'm going to take it out of the bag here give me two seconds there we go so yeah a metal v2 trigger it's nice lightweight but it's full metal so you'll be able to give that a bit more of a pull because i've seen too many broken triggers on the field it's a nice little design there if i can just get it to focus in but yeah it's a solid metal design for v2 boxes so you can use this in a lot of different v2 parts we got your standard eight mil shims that work for pretty much all the uh blasters i know this fits in slr hk gen 9 gen 10 things like that and so you got those genuine shs bushings not bearings Bearings are good, but I'd always go bushing. You got your shim kit because nothing's complete without a fighting bro shim kit. Make sure all those gears are shimmed because you don't want those teeth wearing out. You don't want anything too high pitched or tight because you're just putting more pressure on the motor. Essentially, this is all built to try to keep this running for as long as possible and as powerful as possible. Next, we got, looks like what nice 33 to 35 centimeter, I think it's 33 centimeter alloy barrel. It's got those knobs there, so you'll be able to put it in. Again, this is technically made for a Gen 9, Gen 10, but again, you can put 99% of these parts into other blasters without any issues. 
Next, we have a proper SHS piston with that nice steel ladder there. So again, these ones are known and used all throughout the Joe Ball world as some of the best pistons out there. They're strong, they're reliable, they don't crack, they're nice and solid nylon, and so they give you that speed and power so you don't break anything. Over here, we have a full cylinder. So, a uh, little thing about cylinders, you don't always need a full cylinder to get that high FPS. If you know how to port with uh, cylinder to bar ratio, you'll get better accuracy. We can do a whole video of that next time. But yeah, this is just a standard nice full cylinder to try to maximize your FPS. It's nice, it's clean, it's ribbed, it's beautiful. Uh, again, since this was built for J9 and J10s, it will come with the Gen 9 gearbox. Uh, this thing is nice and solid, especially if you have one of those old, 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 old school polycarb Gen 9 or Gen 10 gearboxes. This is a nice replacement, comes with all the screws and a spare spring retainer in case you don't want to go too powerful. Gen 9 T-piece, again, technically this is made for the Gen 9 and Gen 10, but most of the proprietary parts are good for any V2 blaster. Here we have a nice standard tapper plate, again, Gen 9, Gen 10 type of style, but you can use this and the cylinder head for other models. And speaking about the cylinder head, we have a nice brass double o-ring cylinder head and nozzle to really complete those air seals inside the gearbox. So these things keep it nice and pressurized so that you're pushing the maximum FPS. But again, make sure that's on there tight, make sure everything's lubed up. And finally, to the gears, you'll be getting an SHS 18 to 1 set. So these are some of the best gears on the market for gel ball and even airsoft. These things are reliable. I've used these in pretty much all my blasters. The only one blaster has a different set, and that's the one with the GBF gearbox that technically has 18 to 1, oh, so 16 to 1 Kublai's. But pretty much all my blasters run a 13, 18, or 16 to 1 SHS. These things are reliable. You can ask my mates up at uh, Asriel. They are solid when they come for blasting building. Uh, I can't wait to see what else they have. But yeah, 18 to 1 SHS gears, absolutely solid. And depending on the field you go to, we have a M90 spring. And I think this one's an M120. Yep. We have an M90 spring and M120. If everything's done right, the M90 should push your FPS anywhere around that 300 mark. I'm going to say around 280 to about that 310 mark if your FPS or if your air seals are good. And this M120 is just crazy. We've tested this, these gearboxes and this part can handle an M120. And I think it pushes it up to more that 360, 370 mark. Uh, but make sure your air seals are tight. So that's everything you get in the box. That's pretty much everything you need to pretty much upgrade your blasters for a stage three. You've got everything except the battery. All you need is a good high discharge battery to go with the motors and wires and you'll be sweet. So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment below. Actually, post some of the pics if you can on Facebook. Uh, some of your blasters with some of the upgrades that you've done to it. List them out and just show the community what you have done and what it can be done to these gel blasters. If you have any questions, again, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Message on Facebook or Instagram.